I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on then, Janice, give it to us. Today's theme is based on something that James and I used to do quite often on a Saturday morning. Not that. It's brunch. Oh. Yes! Yes. Oh, we can do brunch. <laughs> we can do brunch. Who wants poached eggs and smashed avocado? I was going to say, completely involuntary, he just muttered avocado under his breath <laughs> before even thinking. Janice, my love. Ugh. What order are we cooking in? The community suggested order is up to you. Once your turn is finished, you simply select the next person to follow. Oh. They've run out of ideas. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is your one, so do you want to lead it or finish it? But do you know what? I feel well, like I you could do the least the way, damage yeah. by going first, so yeah. yeah. No, 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 I'm in that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like the thought. I don't want to go first. Good. Oh, I don't want to go first. He doesn't want to go right. first. Great, bad. Barry's going first. I don't want to go first. Right, let's do it. Don't want to go first! Don't just walk out, that's not... Don't mess it up. To buy himself some thinking time, Barry starts with the simplest of tasks, putting an apron on. I have an idea. Is the idea any good? Well, let's wait and see. Can we start this again? I'm panicking. Been a minute to do my apron up. This sucks. Right, here's my thinking. Um, I love my brunches. He's um, still doing it up. But I can't go for smashed avocado on toast because that's just too obvious. What I'm going to go for is the ultimate sausage and egg McMuffin. Okay, hmm, wow. So I've got a couple of sausages, some black pudding, some chorizo. Yeah, boy. I don't think this is where the guys would expect me to go, but I'm not sure it's gonna work. So seasoned salt, pepper, that's that mix. And um, before I start molding those out, I wanna get a tomato sauce on the go. Oil. Onion, oil. I may as well get the patties made. Yeah. The secret to any good brunch is good company. Put an egg with it. Oh. A teaspoon of chili, a tablespoon of tomato paste. Need to go in there so they can soften up and turn this into a tomato sauce relish to go in there as well. You know what? I feel like I've made a start. I've led us in a certain direction. And I feel like the best person now to come in the kitchen to make sure my idea doesn't get ignored <laughs> would be James Alastair Curry. Um, give myself an eight. Bold, I know, but I'm proud of how I've started this, so eight. It's hard to knock him for such a positive outlook, but I'll find a way. Second, sausage and egg muffins. I want to do the bacon. And it's streaky bacon, so I want to do it in the oven, which he has not preheated. Classic Barry. See, I told you. So I'm going to go to the table. I'm going to have a look at what's going on over there. Because I'm second. I get to choose some stuff that goes onto the dish. I'm going to make home fries. I'm slicing onion and pepper. I'm just going to fry potatoes and they will probably need the rest of the time. Whoa, that's really spicy. <laughs> that is going to be someone else's problem. I'm just going to flatten them. Because when they're thick and like that, they'll just like squeeze in and it'll be more like a meatball than a burger. I hope they just keep that on there and just keep it going. I'm going to do it. 20 seconds, I think I'm good. I'll leave a little something for the next person. Oh no, oh no. Can't have people judging me for not seasoning. I think I'll give myself a 7.5. Here we go. Oh, it's going on. Oh, skill, skills. 
Right, that looks like that's a tester one, like a snacking patty. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Whoa, that's got some chilli in it. <gasps> oh, you know what we could do? We could really make this brunch amazing. That is exactly what nobody planned to happen. No, Jamie, that no. That is exactly oh dear. what is going to happen. I've made decisions. What is going on with this? It's really hot, but it just came out of the pan, and I probably should know that. Right, let's see. Oh, very tasty. Um, Jamie pauses to reflect on all that he's achieved in the past four minutes. Just having a think about what we can add to this. We try and make um, very round fried eggs. Pour my egg in there. It's going to keep it contained and that's going to sit perfectly in our muffin with our patty. Is the egg still going to be have a, a runny yolk? Who knows? Ah! Right, I'm done. I made decisions and I acted confidently. So I'm going to give myself a bold 8.3. For frying an egg and ruining the home fries, <laughs> I despair. Airbus! What we got, what we got, what we got? Potatoes, are they cooked? I'm going to suggest no. Okay, they will need a bit more cooking, but that's fine. We still got more time. We'll give them a bit more liquid to do that in. I feel like this needs some freshness to it, otherwise it's all going to be very, very samey. And possibly another egg if we're going to double up. What we've got is delicious pork fat. And the thing with brunch is it can go sweet or it can go savoury. This has definitely gone savoury, but it needs to be balanced out because you don't just want fatty meat and bread. So I'm thinking, if we just cut the stalk off this and make it nice and flat, and possibly even take a bit of the bottom off, that cooked will sit on top of there, a place with the egg, and you've got something that will give you moisture as you bite into it. I tell you what, if we didn't have the tomato, potato, chilli mixture, what would be really nice with pork and egg and spinach would be like a blueberry ketchup and the blueberries are over there. But I think because somebody's chosen to go spice kind of home potato style, I think that would actually mess it up. So I'm going to refrain. Spinach going into our hot pan with a squeeze of lemon and a season. Plenty of black pepper, need a bit of salt. Start to toast our muffins, give Mike a chance. I've got a dish for our potatoes to go in. While I was there, I picked up some coriander off the windowsill. We'll chop that into there. Last few seconds. That's gonna go in there and take the egg out. Time's up, they're going in the oven. Time's up, out. Ben. And I'm gonna give myself. Ben. ben. As I cheat with a few seconds. Uh, I didn't really do much and then I cheated with the next few seconds. Six. Mike, your turn to finish it. Cheating is not permitted in my kitchen. Okay, 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 okay. Stuff is, stuff is smelling good. The potatoes are really, really, really hard. Do I do this? I, they need to cook and this is burning up, so. We're cooking a fork. I think the fork is cooked. No idea what's in this. If Ebbers has made a bean burger, I'm going to be devastated. I'm going to whip these out because they're burning, not just getting some nice char. So I'm actually going to start that again. I've got quite a lot to do. <laughs> Look at it, it looks like a Dalmatian burger. <laughs> oh, there's something in the oven. Eggs. I guess these are just being kept warm, but they're being kept warm at 200 degrees, so we've lost our runny egg. I'm trying to reduce this down so much. If this cooks, then it will be a miracle. But do you know what? It is reducing down. Right, flip these. Cool, that's really hot. Or burnt. I think we'll just go with these. Get out of my sight. Right, let's get these tomatoes out. Tomatoes? 
tomatoes out. Mike, they're mushrooms. Patties out. Don't know what to do with that spinach. Shall I just stir it through that? Yeah, it's like a shakshuka, isn't it? Let's think about it. Do you know what? Oh, I don't know what to do. Ah, right, and let's just get on with it, Mike. Our burger. Got our, I'm gonna say mushroom. Yeah. Why is he having to guess this? I'm gonna do a double. You have to do a double. Then let's go with essential hard-boiled egg. I'm thinking sweetness, need something. Mike evidently grabs the nearest bottle of booze. It's quite disappointing for a brunch, I'll be honest. But, you know, for one portion of brunch, perhaps. I don't feel like I could have done any more. Is that a brunch worth getting out of bed for? I've got my thoughts, but let's see what the group think. I'm looking forward to this. If I get what I ordered, I'm really happy. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's just unbearable. <laughs> right, ready? Yep, lift away. Gentlemen, happy brunching. In a spectacular return to form after the croque and bouche episode, behold, a black pudding sausage bacon and egg muffin with a side of al dente potatoes in spicy tomato sauce. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. 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 Wow. Yes. Interesting. What? <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, I'm not going to lie, where I left, that's exactly what I was expecting. Who ordered, who ordered the curry? <laughs> One thing I do regret is not having time or focus enough to have put together a proper alcoholic beverage. So instead I chilled some glasses and we got some limoncello. So we're just going to drink limoncello. Interesting. I did reference the fact that you would bring the alcohol to our brunch. Well, I needed to bring something. Well, cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Just imagine that yolk is oozy. Ebers, I'm noticing a problem with you cutting this into four. Yeah, this is, <laughs> no, no, that's yours. <laughs> cheers. Flat pudding makes a breakfast. Mm. Yeah. It's so well. rich, but Decent. so good. That is very tasty. It's something. It's confused again for brunch, but it's very tasty. It mm. is. Oh man, it's so spicy. <laughs> that that anyway. burger was excellent. That was an excellent great. burger. That was actually a genuine, brilliant burger. Yeah. Like, that was good. That thing, the potatoes are not quite done, are they? Maybe what I should have done is just before my time was up and I'd left the potatoes to fry off for a little bit longer, that would have been the time <laughs> to, throw to, it all to throw it all in. <laughs> That's together. the only thing you change about your gun. A level one pot cook. Imagine if you hadn't turned up. <laughs> this would have been such a good pass. <laughs> but would it? And I hate to defend him again, but in coming to the end, would, would a burger and just home fries been enough? If you went to a brunch place and got that burger and that as a side, with the limoncello, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I'm wrong, sorry, yeah. What are you scoring yourself and is it a pass or a fail? I started strong, so I gave myself an eight. And I'd give this a pass because the main component of it worked. Kaza, I gave myself a 7.5 because I feel like I carried on a good idea. Um, I have to give it a fail because I just think the side doesn't work in any way for brunch. Uh, I gave myself an 8.3 um, because <laughs> no, I made... No. This is always my favourite bit. <laughs> Innovation. Innovation. Doesn't always bold work. Bold decisions. Uh, I shared my snacking patty. <laughs> so this is about self-improvement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it worked. It's a pass for me. Okay. I don't think I contributed a huge amount to this, and I think that's... I, I, I don't like this position. There wasn't that much I could do, and I didn't do much, so I gave myself a six. You gave yourself a six for ruining some eggs and, Oi, and burning some spinach. You wanted a McMuffin. It's not a runny yolk. <laughs> that said, I would, I would reckon the entire dish was probably also a six out of ten, which makes it a pass. I gave myself a six because I just had to put stuff together. It was um, very well constructed. It was a five before this. <laughs> um, I regret not providing a proper cocktail and I deeply apologise for that. That's okay, dude. I'm going to say it's a pass for me. So, we passed. Yes. We passed. We passed. Well done. A pass? Were they chugging limoncello between goes? I can't be alone on this, surely. Back me up in the comments here, guys. I get the muffin was good, but they have 50 minutes. You know what? I'm done. I really need to cut this negativity out of my life.
Not now. We've also built the Sorted Club, where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast, and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. Right, Baz, what did you score yourself? And are you passing or failing this? I feel like I Excuse me, let me say that again because I burped. That's the limit show doing it.